All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, Pepe is down quite significantly from its old all-time high, which was literally just a few days ago. And we are going to be discussing whether or not I think this was just simply a pump and dump or there is something else going on here. As well as that, we are going to be speaking about opportunities in this market and the news and updates that you need to know to be fully up to date so you can make informed decisions in this absolutely wild market. And yes, the market is cooling off today and it was doing the same yesterday. And we are going to be discussing all of that that you need to know. And remember, guys, nothing in my videos is financial advice because I'm just a guy sitting on holiday in a room with a stash or a tash or whatever you say. But, uh, yeah, I was taking a little bit of inspiration from my friend over at My Financial Friend. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. Considering I was in Australia, and this is very Australian, I was thinking about even getting possibly a mullet. Let me know what you think about that down there in the comment section. And don't be too scared of the stash uh, if you are watching and you absolutely hate them because I also kind of hate them. But I thought it'd be funny to play a prank on my girlfriend. And uh, yeah, anyway, with that said, Bitcoin right now is basically sideways for the last 24 hours and the last hour, down around 4% in seven days, Ethereum 2% in uh, seven days and sideways again today. So we could actually be leveling off here. This is the kind of thing that we do want to be seeing. Now, if we do just jump quickly over to the Bitcoin chart, we're going to discuss this a little bit more. For me though, I still see a very clear uptrend happening. We are yet to break these sorts of levels of around 25,300 or even up down here at 21,500 to kind of break this uptrend that we are in. Before we jump into more Bitcoin, let's talk about Pepe though. So people are talking about this being a pump and dump. Yes, it went to 1.8 billion dollar market cap down to 800 million as we speak right now, just under, oh no, it popped back over 800 million. Here we go. So Pepe's traveling sideways. Of course, we had this absolutely crazy monumental run here and we're pulling back. And this is exactly what I was saying here on the channel. Right now, we are in a pullback as we speak of around 60%. Now, of course, this is going to happen. The coin moved over like two weeks up to a 1.8 billion dollar market cap. It being listed on Binance was, in my opinion, a little bit of a blow off top there. Now, I'm not sure if Pepe can regain uh, that kind of traction again up to 1.8, but I'm not sure that this run is over yet. Maybe it is. I don't know, but I'm not sure it is. Now, the way this chart is playing out, of course, we had this pullback. The bulls came in very sharply here, but bounced all the way back up again, getting rejected again. Now, you can see the way this sort of thing plays out. The bulls get in, it bounces, bears come in, pushes it back down, bulls come in, bounces, seems to get a little bit weaker there from the bears, from the bulls here, pushing it up, but then pushing down, you can see that we did find this bottom around here, which was a very similar support here. So from there, we have been basically traveling sideways, and this could be coiling up for a move again upwards. But I guess with Pepe, only time will tell. And of course, if Pepe does start to bounce upwards, we're going to see our other meme coins regain some traction. Now, a lot of the coins that we have been looking at that we have made absolutely horrendous gains on or amazing gains on have, of course, pulled back, right? If you do follow me on Twitter or over in my Patreon, the link is down there in the description, you would have seen the gains that we were making. Some of these coins, 4, 10, 15x, all of that sort of stuff. And even at a 2x, I always say that I'm taking profits, right? 2 to 3x, I'm taking my initial out so I never have any risk on the downside. And I've kept that up and it's worked perfectly well. I'm sitting on a very nice bag as we speak. And if the market does turn around, hopefully, hopefully we can catch these gains again. Now, with that said, there was a coin that we spoke about on the channel, Sponge, right? Now, this was SpongeBob. I'm pretty sure not affiliated with SpongeBob. But according to Bitcoiners, this is the next meme coin to watch after Pepe's price explosion. And if we do check out the chart here, I actually brought this coin to you at about a $19 million market cap. From my memory, that's what it was when we spoke about about it about a week ago. Now, it's up 50% from there. But look at the chart. Look at what it's done. It's up 50%, but it's also down as we speak 66%, meaning that if you had have rode the wave all the way up, taken some nice profits, you would have to get your initial out and much more and then have an opportunity now to either get back into it or just sit on your profits. Now, an interesting thing about Sponge is it's actually being listed on MEXC. So a top 10 exchange is listing Sponge. So this is pretty awesome, right? Meme coins are getting a bit crazy 
crazy, getting a bit out of hand here. But the winners here are coming out, and these may be winners for a long time. We really just don't know at this point. But Sponge being listed on a top 10 exchange is a great sign for a potential longevity in this. Of course, I don't know. So do go and check them out yourself, see what you think. But interesting nonetheless that they are being listed on a top 10 exchange. And we are seeing this a lot with some of the winners in this space. So finding those winners early on in a potential pullback like we're in right now could be a great place to start. And of course, looking at the Pepe chart, we can get an idea of what the market's doing. Right now, we've been relatively sideways for two days. And I do think any moment now, we're going to see a change in direction. Now, overall, we did have a very nice run for Bitcoin recently, which then transitioned into a meme season. But what we've had recently is pretty much a pullback, not so much drastically on Bitcoin, but quite drastically on the altcoins. And we are seeing some things come up this week that may be game changer for the current circumstance that we're in. So just today, later on today, the 10th of May, we have CPI data coming out. And we can see here that these are around about the ideas that people are thinking. So above 5.5 for CPI, Bitcoin probably goes down to 25,000. This is a 4% chance between 5.3% and 5.5%, 26,500, 25% chance. 4.7 to 4.9 would equal around a $29,000 Bitcoin, 20% probability. And we can see 4.5 or lower, 30,000 plus Bitcoin and a 1% probability. So the most likely outcome is around 5 to 5.2%. And this gives Bitcoin in and around the price that it is right now. Of course, this isn't guaranteed, but this is the outlook of the market. And if it can come out with relatively positive CPI news. This could spell the way for Bitcoin to move up. And then potentially what I'm thinking is because altcoins haven't really had any form of run, some of the gains that people have been making in the meme coins are going to move into these longer term plays. You know, these high market cap altcoins that really haven't seen much moves recently. So potentially an alt season could come. We could go from Bitcoin to meme coins to altcoins. But of course, this is pure speculation at this moment. We do have other factors that are messing with the prices of things, right? We have liquidations and Bitcoin at 15 million, Ethereum at 7 million and Pepe at 4.6 million. So it's only been the last couple of days where people have even been able to trade Pepe with leverage, right? And people are already getting absolutely wrecked. So please, guys, you know, here on this channel, do not get wrecked, right? Don't trade with huge amounts of leverage. You can short the market with 1x leverage if you want to get involved in a short. It doesn't need to be 100x leverage, right? It really doesn't. And you can also get long when you think the market is going to go up. Basically, what we're seeing here is a mixture of shorts and longs over the last 24 hours because the market is chopping sideways. And this is what's catching people out. So don't get in a position where small moves can absolutely wreck you. That's not how we want to be trading this. So if you do look at the chart a little bit closer here at the four hour chart, we can see Bitcoin right here doing similar things like we were talking to Pepe, just traveling sideways, right? We had a big move up and now we're moving downwards and now we're traveling sideways under this support here. That was a support, now a resistance, 27,800. And we have played of that one, two, three times here and the bulls still haven't managed to get above it. So if we continue like this, most likely I would expect us to maybe trend downwards towards the region of 27,100. But I do think that CPI data is going to have a big role in this. So looking at this technically right now is a little bit difficult because we haven't had that CPI data right now. Now, but if you do expect the CPI data to come out and it's positive, then or negative, of course, you can trade over on Femex. They are a new addition to this channel. The reason why I went with them and decided to bring them here on the channel is because you do not need to KYC with Femex in order to trade. So right now, wherever you are, you can trade on Femex without the need to KYC, which is very important for some of the people out there who don't want to do that, right? With that said, there are a bunch of uh, bonuses that you can also get down there in my description. So the link will be there waiting for you. Grab those bonuses. Don't KYC and trade with leverage, but be safe, guys. Don't trade with the amount of leverage that can get you absolutely wrecked. Please do me a favor. With that said, just looking at some other news today, we can see that the founder, Sam Bankman-Fried of, of course, FTX, is asking for a dismissal of his charges after he was extradited. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Should he be dismissed of all his criminal charges? 
from my opinion, I'm pretty sure that people were putting money on FTX and then he was taking it and using it for whatever he wanted. So I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be allowed. But let me know what you think down there. And in positive news, we have former Goldman Sachs executives saying crypto markets about to accelerate out of this bear market much faster than 2019. So this could spell huge news for altcoins, for Bitcoin, and of course, some meme coins. If we do start to see some bullish action coming, bullish momentum, I think it could be very good. So with that said, guys, do me a favor, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, smash the subscribe button if you are new here, and I will, of course, see you guys in the next one. Peace.